Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Crosspad Castle. I'm the mischievous rogue, and today I will be showing you a basic tutorial on how to. Bleh. I will be showing you a basic tutorial on how to install MMD tools, or in this case, Unaya, Unaya, Unaya tools. It should just be called MMD tools. It was called that for many years, and then the project was branched from on GitHub. And uh, it's slowly been evolving into its own little thing. Okay, anyways. Um, these are tools for Blender. And if you don't know what Blender is, this is Blender. Okay, this is Blender and long-term support. And I will be making a series of tutorials on how to make animations for MMD in Blender. Not in MMD. The Weeaboo program, the abandoned gaming engine, an engine, the home of Miku, and all of her many clones. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First, I'm we're gonna go to GitHub. You want to Google it, and you're gonna type in ooh with three U's, N Y A A, Blender M M D tools. Because if you just go into, or on, let me get to Google. If we just go into Google and you type in MMD tools, you're going to find all the old programs that are not updated. This will not work. It's a piece of crap. It's dead. Okay. We don't need it. We don't want it. You don't want to be here. All right. You're going to type in ugh, nah, ugh, tools. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so you're going to type that in and it's going to be the first result. And this is up to date. Okay, so if you are a newbie and you want to start making MMD animations, do not go back to the Stone Age and download Miku Miku Dance. I mean, yes, download Miku Miku Dance. You need it to test because you're part of a larger community, likely. You're going to want to download some motions. You're going to want to download some models. So yes, you will probably need Miku Miku Dance as a reference. So this tutorial does not need Miku Miku Dance. Okay, anyways. So once you're on the GitHub page for Blender MMD tools, you go to code. You go to download zip. It's going to automatically download it. Okay? And it'll put it in your downloads folder. Now, if you don't have Blender, here's the thing about MMD uh, tools, the new one. And I'm, I'm just going to call it that. Okay? So when I say MMD tools, I'm really talking of uh, Naya tools. Okay? That is what I'm talking about. Uh, it does not work with your standard edition of Blender. So if you go into um, Blender, you go into, you know, oh, I'm going to download Blender. Oh, it's so nice. Blender 3.1's out. Oh, I want the best Blender. Don't. It will not work. It will take a big poopy on your program. You will not be able to use the tools correctly. And I know this because I have Blender 3.1. I've been using it for a while. It cannot export motions. And I learned that the hard way when I was trying to make a motion for the community you know, share it with friends and stuff. And uh, it turns out I had to remake the motion in Miku Miku Dance, which was awful to go back to the Stone Age. Um, but I, I wasn't sure. I thought the tools were broken. It's not. I reached out to the guy running the tools here, and he basically said that you have to use Blender long-term support, which is, so just type in Blender LTS into Google. There are two versions. I am currently using... Blender 2.93 long-term support. Um, it's the main program I'm using. Okay, so what you're going to want to do when you download Blender 2.93 long-term support to work with MMD tools, you're going to want to go into LTS release. You're not going to want to go here because this will take you to the Windows Store. You'll need a Windows account. You'll need Steam for this one and I don't know what Snap is, but I mean we're not using Linux. So if you go down to LTS release 2.938 you can download a portable zip file of Blender. And I prefer the portable versions because with portable different versions of Blender on your computer in folders, it keeps it neat. It keep, You can have multiple projects. As you saw earlier, I have Blender 3.1 
and I have the long-term support that is compatible with MMD tools on my computer. And they both, they don't have any problems with fighting with each other. I, I never have any issues. The only thing is, if you have a file in Blender 3.0, it will not work with a rolled back version of Blender, particularly the 2.8s, the 2.9s. So anyways, here we go. All right, so you got, you downloaded Blender. It's working, it's getting in there. You got your tools waiting. So in the meantime, while Blender downloads, you're gonna wanna put your MMD tools in a folder where you can find it. And I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. I already have it, but because I'm showing you for the sake of the tutorial, you're gonna wanna put it in a folder. You will not want to unzip it, okay, at all. Because the way Blender reads plugins is they have to be in zip file format. All right, now that we're back, Blender is downloaded. So we're going to uh, we're going to extract that into its own folder. So we'll make another folder for the tutorial. Call it tutorial. Get your downloads. Drop your zip file into tutorial. And you will extract here into the folder. And if you don't want it, you can just delete it all at once, which is what I will be doing because I already have Blender. I don't want Blender to fight with this. So once it's extracted, there's Blender right there for you to use, all nice and neat, ready to go. Okay, okay. Just so you know, we have our Blender file right here. And then right next to it, we have our MMD tools in the folder and you need to keep them uh, relatively where you can find it because once you put the file path into Blender, it's going to uh, be there permanently and you'll have to, you don't, you're not gonna wanna move it. So once, you in, so once you install Blender and once you have MMD tools, um, you're gonna want the MMD tools plugin to be in a plugins folder where you can find regularly, okay? So the way you install a plugin into Blender is you go to Edit, you go to Preferences, you go to Install, and then you find your folder. I put my folder on the desktop, and uh, here it is. Here's MMD Tools. So you would select that. You would put Install Add-on, and normally, you know, it'll just install it directly into your computer. If you have any warning signs that like that are in orange or uh, faded gray and there's a long line of code and it just tells you uh, Python failed to load. Um, that is because you have the wrong version of Blender. Likely. Like nine times out of ten, that's the reason. You didn't download LTS. Uh, maybe something happened to your file. Maybe you unzipped the file and rezipped it. I don't know. So anyways, so I already have it installed. Um, and once it installs, you'll go, you'll type in MMD into your search tab and then it'll be object MMD uh, tools. Okay. So that will be, you will, you will enable it. It'll be grayed out. You'll enable it and enabling it makes it so it shows up here. Okay. And that is how you install MMD tools into Blender LTS, um, making it possible for you to make animations for you to use motions and all kinds of stuff. You can go on to DeviantArt and download pretty much any model that you need for animation needs. Um, there's just the whole big wide world. Uh, it starts with Miku 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 Dance and it starts with Miku, this character in particular. Uh, who you do not own. If you download Miku, you do not own Miku. That is, uh, she's owned by TDA and Krypton Media. Okay, but but you are allowed to make motions with her um, as long as you follow their strict set of rules. So go on a DeviantArt, type in MMD, type in Miku, type in TDA. You will find thousands of models to use for your needs. Now that you've installed the plugin and the add-on for MMD tools, you're going to go to the tab, you're gonna to go to the operator, you're gonna open that, you're gonna to go to model and import, and now you can import your very own PMX model. Okay, and when it first imports, you're gonna see the armature, you're gonna see the meshes, it's gonna be very chrome. Um, you know, just to turn off the armature, you can. there's two ways to turn it off. You can click this button here, 
uh, uh, the show overlays, and that will once when it's grayed out, you cannot see the armature. Or you can go up here, and uh, this little person symbol right here. Uh, you could just turn the little eyeball off, and now you can't see the armature. So you can get a better look at your model. It's all chrome. Have no fear. Just go to uh, the viewport shading. Uh, there's different ones. There's wireframe. There's just the the regular. I don't know what it's called. Just like the regular. You know, you just your, your default. I loaded a model. Um, there's world. I think this is environmental shading. Uh, but you need you actually need to generate your own lighting, and we will go into that later. And then for this one, this is like no lighting, but you can see the model. You can see all the vert. You know all the all the vertices, all the meshes, you can see everything you need. So thank you so much for watching. That is how to install Blender tools and the Blender add-on plugin for MMD. And I will show you in the next tutorial how to set up for a basic motion animation and how to use material shaders. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.